This is Luke from Luke Luke English. Uh, 안녕하세요 여러분들. 자, 한국 잉글리시 오신 것을 진심으로 환영합니다. 자, 오늘 어, 여러분들이 진짜 제가 어, 여러분들에게 많이 질문 받는 그런 질문이 있어요. 바로 뭐라는 이 표현의 어떤 쓰임새인데 아, 정말 솔직하게 말씀드려서 저도 이 우드라는 것을 상당히 한동안 힘들어 했거든요. 지금은 이제 어느 정도 우드에 대해서 파, 파악을 했는데 원어민들이 진짜 우드라는 표현을 너무너무 많이 사용합니다. 오늘은 직접 이제 원어민 친구 필요한테 한번 이 우드에 대해서 좀 이제 어, 들어볼 거예요. 그죠? 어떤 이야기를 준비하고 있는지 한번 우리가 들어보고 자, 그러면 우리 피터 불러볼까요? 피터! What? Come on out! <웃음> Today, I would like to talk about wood. Most Korean people come across wood and they think, oh, this is a polite word. Would you like a cup of coffee? Would you like a piece of cake? I'm being polite. And yes, it's true, but that's not the whole story of wood. Rest of the time, we use wood for very different things. I'm going to explain them to you. Just focus. First, before we talk about wood, we have to talk about will. Will is used for predicting something, right? Something that we can be pretty sure is going to happen. If the weather is nice, we will drink beer outside. If the weather is nice, we would drink beer outside. If you don't sleep enough, you will be tired tomorrow. If you don't sleep enough, you would be tired tomorrow. Why? Because will is for something we can be reasonably certain of. We can predict the outcome of something, we can use will. If I spend all my money on shoes, I will not have any money left for beer. Now would. Would is used for something that is not a certain situation. For example, what would you do if I punched you in the face? Good sentence. What will you do if I punch you in the face? Sounds kind of funny because punch you in the face is a strange, unusual, uncertain, unrealistic action most of the time. What would you do if you were president? What will you do if you are president? Probably you're not going to be president. So that is a very unusual, unrealistic thing. And that is the most common usage of would. English. Whenever we want to talk about a hypothetical situation that probably will not happen. What would you do if you won the lottery? I'm sure everybody has asked themselves that question. It's not what will you do if you win the lottery because probably that's not going to happen. All right? So, will is for predicting a pretty certain situation. Would is distant from reality. Would is used for something that's uncertain. All right? So having explained that, how do we get to politeness? Why is would about politeness? Because like I said, would is about distance from reality. It also has to do with politeness. If I ask you, will you go to lunch? Like this clip. Will you get out of here? Will you get out of here? Will you? I'm trying to run an office here. Now, will you go to lunch? Go to lunch. Will you go to lunch? Will you get out of here? Will you get out of here? Will you? I'm trying to run an office here. Now, will you go to lunch? Go to lunch. Will you go to lunch? He doesn't sound very polite, does he? He's not being polite. He's being aggressive and rude. Will, if I say, will you go to lunch, I am saying, basically, you will go to lunch. It is a realistic situation, and I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. But if I say, would you go to lunch, then this is not realistic. It's kind of saying, if the situation is right, maybe please, could you please maybe go to lunch? It has that feeling. 
That's why would is more polite, because it's not about actual fact, it's about possibility. I'm gonna ask you a question. I would like to ask you a question. So to summarize, while would is used for politeness, the most common way we use would is whenever we try to make some kind of uncertain prediction for the future. Uh, what would you do if you were a tiger? If I were a tiger, I would eat you. And notice the verb shift there. That's not what would you do if you are a tiger, that's wrong. What would you do if you were a tiger? What would you do if you won the lottery? What would you do if your car blew up? All right, it's so for unreal, strange, unrealistic situations. We use will for more predictable ones. Yeah. What will you do if it rains tomorrow? It's a real situation. 자, 여러분들, 혹시 우드에 대해서 궁금한 사항들이 좀 있을 겁니다. 자, 그러면 아래 답글로 편안하게 남겨주시기 바랍니다. 사실 어, 제가 피로뿐만 아니라 다양한 원어민들하고 작업을 하고 있고 어, 리소시즈가 상당히 많습니다. 그래서 그 어떤 영상보다 신뢰 있게 만들 자신 있거든요. 자, 그러니까 여러분들의 어떠한 그 걱정거리를 좀 봐야지 될것 같아요. 자, 그래서 편안하게 답글을 남겨주시면 자, 최대한 반영해서 다음에 또 무드의 영상을 또 어, 만들어 보도록 하겠습니다. English.